Ugandan students in Wuhan say that the situation in the city worsens daily and they have since requested government to evacuate them. And there's actually so much difficulty in getting basic needs because um, supermarkets are, most of them are closed and very few of them are open. However, no evacuation will be happening as government has made its position official. From the public health point of view, it is safer to keep the persons in one city there. The city is under lockdown, meaning travel to and from the city is prohibited. Speaking during the parliamentary plenary session this afternoon, Health Minister Jen Rutha Cheng said returning Ugandans from China might pose a health risk to the rest of the population. Does Uganda have the capacity to handle a coronavirus outbreak in terms of specialized isolation facilities with specialized equipment? My answer is no. That aside, cabinet resolved that it would be costly to charter a plane for the 105 students in Wuhan, yet the country still has other disasters to deal with. We also found out the costs of chartering a plane depending on the size, and the airlines say China is far and only the big airlines can go to China, and the costs vary from U.S. dollars 500,000 to 1 million. However, not all is lost. Government has pledged to support the students logistically. As such, it is in the process of wiring 61,800 U.S. dollars to support the students in the interim as more evaluation of the situation takes place. Funds can be sent directly to the students through a payway system to their telephones. Many travelers enter Uganda from China and as of Thursday, 265 people had been put under isolation. 166 of these are Chinese citizens, while 99 are Ugandans. Of the Ugandans, 10 are students who are supported by their parents to return from Wuhan, China. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.